Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in for this Paranormal Pit Stop. Tonight, we'll be exploring the remnants of a historic plantation home and grounds located off of Skidaway Road out of Savannah, Georgia, that contains 822 acres encompassing a massive estate that once housed colonial founder Noble Jones. Rumored to harbor a range of restless spirits tied to its past, are you prepared to brave the history and hauntings of the Wormslow Historic Site? Historically, lands now holding what is often more simply referred to as the Wormslow Plantation were initially frequented and inhabited by tribes native to the region for thousands of years prior to European arrival. And in 1733, when the first permanent English colonists landed near what is now Savannah, the spit was completely uninhabited. In 1736, Noble Jones would apply for a lease on 500 acres to the south of the Isle of Hope, on which he planned to construct a formidable abode. And from 1739 to 1745, he would construct his dwelling from wood and tabby, which was a concrete-like mixture comprised of lime and oyster shells. Additionally, and out of a fear that the Spanish, who'd claimed the region, would eventually attempt to expel him, Jones would fashion defensive structures across his property should the need to fight ever arise. In 1739, the War of Jenkins' Ear would rage, during which time, in 1740, Jones would participate in an English raid on the St. John's River through North Northern Florida, as well as in the successful 1742 defense of Frederica through the Battle of Bloody Marsh, and following subsequent victories amongst other parties, by 1748, fighting had ground to a halt, and Spanish forces were largely neutralized. In 1775, Noble would pass on, leaving Wormslow to his daughter, Mary Jones Bullock. In 1795, upon her passing, the estate would be willed to her brother, Noble Wimberly Jones, and in 1804, the property would be passed down once again to Noble Wimberly's son, George Jones. In 1828, George Jones, who would later re-establish himself as George Wimberly Jones Duren, would construct our more modernized and elaborate Wormslow Plantation, after which he would designate cotton production its prime function. Through the Civil War, or more specifically, through the Union capture of Savannah in 1864, Wormslow would be fortified by Confederate forces. For a time, the Jones family would flee the premises, however, following the war, they would be given their lands back, and ownership of Wormslow would be passed through generations of Jones descendants, until 1961, when most of the estate and ruins of the former structure were donated to the Wormslow Foundation, with the exception of the more current Wormslow House and its immediate grounds which were retained under ownership of the family. In 1972, following the revocation of the Foundation's tax-exempt status, ownership of Wormslow was transferred to the Nature Conservancy for a time, before it was again, in 1973, transferred to the state of Georgia, and in 1979, opened to the public as the Wormslow Historic Site. The Wormslow Historic Site remains open to the public, offering a museum, the ruins of Jones's fortified abode, a beautiful 1.5-mile Oak Avenue, and a demonstration area for the interpretation of daily colonial life, while the current Wormslow House remains under the charge of Jones' descendants. Not surprising in the least, considering its lengthy history marred with battles, generations of family since deceased, enslavement, disturbed grave sites, and pretty much everything else you'd expect from your stereotypical haunted mansion's tortured past, the whole of Wormslow grounds are rumored to be roamed by a host of ghostly presences, with those frequenting its bounds reporting phantom lantern glows spied bobbing around after dark, both spook lights and orbs captured in photography, and disembodied whispers and footsteps heard emanating from empty spaces that seemingly follow lone walkers around the site. While the final resting place of Noble Jones is still hosted at Wormslow, it was formerly surrounded by a grouping of additional markers until Jones' descendants had said burials reinterred at Bonaventure Cemetery. To date, many have reported encounters with both misty forms and old-fashioned clothing and with a range of apparitions near the area, that wander amongst the trees, appearing lost or confused, and that most accept are restless souls resulting from their bodies' desecrations, stuck forever searching for their rightful graves. Several informal investigations of the Wormslow site have yielded high EMF levels, chilling EVPs, and abnormal battery death rates and other malfunctions in well-maintained equipment, while others have reported
reported the perturbing feelings of being watched, of being followed, or even of being tapped or touched by someone or something unseen. After dark, some have described hearing the sounds of people, of life pouring from the dormant old ruins, as if some version of the past is continuing just beyond the veil, and run-ins with full-bodied entities across plantation grounds are all but common, with some telling of encounters with spectral Civil War soldiers, and others with men dressed in colonial-era garb that seemingly patrol the area and disappear shortly after being noticed. Lastly, before abolition, as many as 1,500 enslaved individuals were held at Wormslow at any given time, were used for labor in its fields, and were kept in housing close to the marshes at the edge of the plantation. While said housing was demolished through the early 20th century, many believe avid efforts to erase this horrific portion of its history and an overall lack of acknowledgement of the tortures and injustices that transpired on site has resulted in the unrest of the spirits of those whose lives were stolen by the Jones family and its descendants. Near locations where various slaving sites were covered up, many have reported an extreme uneasiness, otherworldly cold spots, and shadowy figures that roam about after dark, that some claim are the vengeful ghosts of those who were forced to work Wormslow fields, forever searching for those tied to their enslavement in lives since extinguished. Thanks for joining us on this Paranormal Pit Stop. If you enjoyed our histories and ghost stories, subscribe to our channel, like this upload, and share us with anyone you feel could use a good scare. We'll catch you next time.